Hi friends, happy Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Um, my days are kind of running together. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday though. Um, I hope that your day and your week is off to an amazing start. I wanted to hop on really quick today to talk a little bit about the nutrition plan going into the weekend. Hopefully your at the top of your to-do list is to go grocery shopping and to start preparing for the start of lift for next week. And although this nutrition plan, if you've done one of my accountability groups before, or if you followed another program, specifically one like 80 day obsession, um, you will notice that this nutrition plan is much, much more relaxed than some of the other ones, which is amazing um, and super awesome because it really does cater to the fact that this program is supposed to fit into your life, not force you to fit your life into a program, if that makes sense. However, with that flexibility um, can come some kind of areas of concern as far as maybe getting a little too comfortable with how much freedom you have with the meal plan and not doing your best to prepare for your days and for your weeks. I do want to encourage you, even if you don't do like a full meal prep for the whole week, which I definitely don't do, I'll be sharing a video with you all later on in the week um, about how I specifically meal prep and some, some kind of tips and tricks and things that I do. Um, but if you don't at least have some kind of plan and action and healthy options to at least grab, if you are kind of in a crunch and on the go, then you're going to be setting yourself up for failure, which is not what we want, especially the first week of this program. So even though the program is, the nutrition plan is a little more laid back as far as the structure is concerned, it's still important that you follow it. So hopefully you have started looking through this Lift4 program and nutrition guide. I'm not going to go through the whole thing right now because you have your own copy, but I just kind of wanted to hit on a few things. I'm in a exclusive coach test group with Joel Freeman, the creator of the program. And so I will be sharing with all of you some questions that he's answering over in that group and just some things that he's kind of talking about that he's been seeing really frequently. One thing that he has been talking about is the fact that if you look on page six and seven right here, you'll notice that up here in the top, it tells you based on your weight, which calorie bracket you should, you should kind of align yourself with. This is not a super kind of set in stone bracket. So for example, if you weigh less than 168 pounds, like let's say you weigh 165 pounds, but you know that 1,200 to 1,500 calories is not gonna be enough food for you. Maybe you're trying to maintain, maybe you're really trying to put on muscle and your goal is not to lose more than 10 pounds. You might wanna bump up to plan B and see how you feel for a week. The great thing about this program is that regardless of which plan you start in, you can always go up or down based on how you're feeling and the results that you're getting. Um, so for example, my husband is gonna be doing the program with me. He consistently weighs around 175, which would put him in plan B, but his goal with this program outside of maintaining leanness and getting a little bit leaner is to really gain a lot of muscle. So he is going to start out in plan C, which is 1800 to 2100 calories because that kind of aligns better with his goals and he'll try it for a week. And if it's literally just too much food, he cannot handle it. He's feeling bloated and just gross. Then we can buff him down to plan B. Um, same thing for all of you ladies. Just find the bracket that you feel the most comfortable with at this point. And if you need help, please post here in the group or reach out to your coach or myself. And I can definitely help you with that or your coach can help you with that as well. Um, but just don't stress over the fact that, um, you know, where this weight kind of aligns you in your plan. I feel super comfortable in plan A. That's typically the calorie bracket that I fall in in most of our programs um, as far as the servings of each one of those containers is concerned. So I'm not too worried about that for sure. Um, also, don't forget that I have uploaded in the file section of this group the conversion measurement rate of what these color-coded containers are. So if you do not have these color-coded containers that come with some of our other programs, be sure to check out the file that is attached to um, the file section of this group that shows you measuring cup-wise about what one serving of each one of these groups are. And actually, if you flip over to the food list page. Oh, you don't even need that conversion because on the food list page, it tells you exactly how much of each type of food one serving is. So for example, if you're utilizing spinach as one of your vegetables, one cup of cooked or raw spinach is a green. So you don't even need that measurement thing. So just forget that I said that. 
go through your nutrition guide, figure out which bracket you're in, and then go from there. Now what I'm gonna do is share my screen with you all so that I can show you something I'm gonna be uploading to make your life a little bit easier. You totally do not have to use this, but I wanted to provide it with to each and every one of you at the start of every week, just so that you kind of have some structure to your planning until you get a little more comfortable with it. So to the caption of this video, I have attached a Google document or a Google sheet link that will take you to this week one meal plan. So you can see that it says week one right here. It has the workout listed for every day up here, which we'll talk about moving your workouts around tomorrow. Um, and this is just your week one meal plan. So you can see that there's a spot for breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. Now, if you don't eat three snacks a day, I personally don't. I'll show you my, my week one meal plan in just a second. I've also shared that link with you as well. Um, if you're not a big snacker, then whenever you copy this chart to paste into your own Excel file or your own Google Sheet, just take those lines out. You can totally customize this to fit your lifestyle, your goals, how you're gonna be working this meal plan. So I am giving you guys this template so that you can fill it out on your own. Here is what my week one looks like. I know there's like a lot of text on here, but one thing you will notice is that over here, I took out all of the snacks except for one, and I like to have my Shakeology for a snack. Most people like it for breakfast. If you have a really crazy night of like running kids around and you know you don't have time to make a good choice for dinner, you can save it for dinner. If you have a busy lunch break at work, you can have it for lunch. It literally does not matter when you drink your Shakeology as long as you're drinking one every single day. So for me, at this point in my life and with my schedule now, it just works out best for me to have it as a snack. Something else you can see is that I'm totally a creature of habit. So I eat the exact same thing every single day for breakfast. I have the exact same snack every single day, mid afternoon. And I always have my pre-workout energized and my post-workout recover with a purple container of frozen cherries or half of a frozen banana. And I just added that column in down here. Like I said, you can totally customize this meal plan template that I'm giving you guys to fit whatever works best for you. Something else that I that you'll probably notice, and like I said, I'm going to be sent, sharing the links to both of these, so you'll be able to, to look at them to kind of see what I've done. I'm in meal plan A. So meal plan A requires three servings of veggies, two fruit, four protein, two carbohydrates, one fat, one orange, which is seeds and dressings, and then two teaspoons, um, which is oils and nut butters. So what I did is I went in and I wrote in what I know I'm gonna have for breakfast every single day and what I know I'm gonna have for a snack every single day. And then you'll notice that like whatever I have for dinner one night, nine times out of 10 is gonna be my lunch the next day, leftovers. Um, if you're not a leftover person, then that probably won't work for you, but that is just what works best for me. And then something else you will notice is that most of my dinner recipes are more complex than my lunch ones. So even if I'm not eating leftovers for lunch, and probably having literally grilled chicken, some potatoes or some rice and some veggies, just keeping it really simple and separating out those ingredients. But with dinner, since my husband and I eat together and he likes more hearty food, I utilize the um, recipe tab on Beachbody On Demand to, um, to get those recipes. So if you log into your Beachbody On Demand, which is where you access your workouts, click on this blog tab right here and you have access to all of this, you guys. So please take advantage of it. And then you can click on this recipes tab and you can literally sort the recipes out based on chicken, vegetarian, dinner recipes, breakfast recipes, and you can get as creative as you want with the meals that you're picking for your meal plan. Something else I will show you, I'm just clicking on a random recipe here. So it gives you the recipe, which is printable, so you can print it. And then if you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll notice right here under portion fix containers, it tells you exactly what containers one serving of this recipe counts for, which is insanely, insanely helpful. So be sure you're checking out those recipes under the blog tab of your Beachbody On Demand, and then just utilize this template to fill it in however works best for you. I'm gonna be doing one for my husband as well since we're doing a couples challenge. Um, and we'll just go from there. We'll talk about moving around your workouts based on your schedule tomorrow, but today I wanted to specifically talk about nutrition. So what I want you to do is check out this meal plan template, customize it, copy and paste it somewhere else, make it work for you because you won't be able to edit the actual template that I'm sharing with you guys since we need everybody to have a copy of it. 
And then what I want you to do is I want you to post your completed weekly meal plan for week one here in the group as soon as you're done with it. Um, and like I said, mine is attached to this video as well. So you already have access to looking at that. You can, you know, upload it just as you can take a screenshot of it or take a picture of it off your computer and just upload it here in the group because you never know who may be struggling with meal planning. If this is, maybe this is your first time to have to meal plan and you're just getting overwhelmed and confused, seeing somebody else's may be really, you know, beneficial and useful to you. You may get some ideas for meals and snacks and things like that. So if you have any questions about the nutrition plan, please let me know. If you need help coming up with a meal plan or if you want somebody to look over it, let me know. And be sure that you're starting to go through your planning and nutrition guide so that you can be all prepared this weekend, you can get prepared for week one, and you can go into the week feeling comfortable and confident in your ability to stay on track. So um, I will talk to you all soon. I hope you have a good rest of your day.